Hey everybody, um, I've shared in previous posts that I am a 10 year cancer survivor. And as the month of October leaves us, I just wanted to share some information that will be helpful to you. Um, years ago when I began studying and collaborating with some of my friends who are physicians and researchers, and whether it's biblical studies or about cancer advocacy or whichever direction God directs me to research, um, I discovered the hunger for knowledge only grew more. Um, and like a great sale you find at a store, you just wanna tell somebody about it. Um, so I always say you can't go forward until you know where you came from. So within my research concerning cancer within my own family, because there are five of us who were diagnosed with cancer, I discovered that my grandfathers fought in the wars, World War II, Korean War, and Vietnam. Um, those wars released chemical weapons. Chemical weapons, as we know, get into the bloodstream. Um, and cause all kinds of uh, health risk. Um, and the manifestation, manifestation of these chemical weapons don't show up for years, but my family members and I, we are the descendants of those bloodlines that fought in the wars. Our medical systems today are far more advanced to detect anything budding and growing but you gotta be proactive. So what am I saying? I said all this to say, please, please, please go to the doctor. If you detect anything, no matter how small, don't overlook it. Because if something is there, if it's not treated, it can be fed by the foods we eat, like sugar and uh, foods with high pesticides, like strawberries and uh, some raw vegetables that we eat have high, the high amount of pesticides. Um, check out CNN. I remember they did a study on the dirty dozen list of foods with pesticides. Check that out. Um, and you can make your own decision uh, whether you want to stick with organic or not at all. But listen, it's your choice. But the biggest takeaway in this video that I want you to walk away with is to know who you are um, and to find out your ancestry. And this means uh, knowing physically, emotionally, mentally, and spiritually. This will help you understand why you tick and what makes you tick because we're all blueprints of our past, but understanding our past helps to shape and put form to our future. So we really need to know our past um, and where we came from. Now we don't have the ability to change our past, but God has the power to do that, to change our past. And we're not defined either by what we were born into because we have no control over that. But God calls us healed. He calls us justified. He calls us redeemed. He calls us an heir. He calls us triumphant. Um, he calls us friend. Um, he calls us a new creation. He calls himself the true vine, and we are the branches. He calls us ambassadors for him. He calls us chosen. Um, he calls us his masterpiece, created for good work. He calls us a child of God, and most of all, he calls us free. But what he doesn't call us, he doesn't call us sick. I didn't say we don't get sick. I said he doesn't call us sick. He doesn't call us inferior. He does not call us less than. He doesn't call us fearful or undervalued or under underprivileged. So I'll say again, 
You can't progress forward until you understand and have all the information about where you've been. And we only want to be called what God calls us and not what life or people's opinions have dealt us, okay? So I've attached um, these scriptures for your reading if you just want to uh, know what God thinks of us, what he calls us in the description, if you want to just study that. Um, some I've written out and some um, only have the scripture verse. I don't take for granted that anybody is familiar with biblical text because, you know, we all grow in different areas and different forms. Um, but We'll disconnect to what we don't understand. So I don't want you to disconnect from that, okay? But we all have a legacy. We got to think about legacy. And legacy is more than leaving money, okay? It's leaving a wealth of knowledge. And it's leaving answers for our children and our grandchildren so that they won't reach into the darkness looking for these answers. So I've got a grandson. Um, who will need this information to move forward. He's got to know where he's been so he can progress forward. His grandparents and great-grandparents, we are the Ben, okay? And it's our gift to provide him with the good and the bad parts of our family heritage and then put all this information on the table and then allow him to choose his path that God wants him to follow. But he needs this balanced information for his mental, emotional, and spiritual wholeness. So when you know better, you do better. So why am I doing this? Because I know better. So listen, y'all be good to yourselves. Don't trust yourselves. Trust God. And have a good evening and have a good week on purpose. Bye.